about this fucking game is this right here. <clears throat> like, look at this. Fuck. For fuck's sakes, it's gonna be costly. Warning, high security door breached. Pull Lord Kane back for now, too. Are you fucking kidding me? Go away! Now you're just fucking pissing me off! This is fucking... I'm mad as all fucking hell. Fuck, man. <clears throat> I was gonna say, what the hell is he doing? <sighs> Hitting that point. I was gonna say, why are they panicking? It's because there's a dead body in there. It's exactly what I need. Technicians just to leave, yeah. What a mess, let me tell you. This room's gonna get filled up really fast. Do that for now. We good now? You pricks. It's acceptable from all the levels. That one with that, and that with that. Well, I'm gonna have to let this run off screen so I can get money back, get people back. was bad. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I didn't. The electric shock trap is pretty cool. Basically, uh, it would be good for here. So I would throw it here and then I would have a sensor and then when, when they walk by they would just get zapped. The problem is, of course, friendly fire is... Friendly fire is a friggin' definite thing here.
that's the worst part about this is I can't do anything about this. It's just gonna take time. I can I can do something about that, but I can't do anything about this. So I did unlock the casino, however. So the way the casino works is it's another building. Hotel Casino, welcoming casual gamblers and high rollers alike. The casino provides uh, the evening entertainment on the island, attracting all the nearby tourists with its bright lights and promises of untold riches. Entrance by all the various ways to lose money quickly, or sorry, entranced, uh, tourists will happily gamble like addicts until closing time at night. The roulette, baccarat, and crafts tables must be staffed by social minions, the only minions capable of acting as uh, croupiers. A time clock may be used to control... Uh, that more precisely. Not sure if I pronounced it right the first time. Be nice, but I don't really have anywhere to put it. And surprisingly, I can't put it here because apparently this, I'm pretty sure, is what interacts with that. Or rather, interferes, I should say. So bad for this one valet. He has to run around doing all this crap. Spin doctors are probably down here training. The one is. Cut it at five and throw this back up. Uh, 20 is the limit there. I mean, I, I could just do math. Hundreds, that's 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. I was just taking the lazy way out. But yeah, I don't need uh, more technicians right now. So I can stick with the lower, lower amount of technicians. It's stuff like this that really sets me back because uh, I could be doing missions right now. Really? You fucking pricks? Okay. Get rid of her. Get rid of her. I am invisible. They will, of course, die. That's the way you want it. Where are they from? Smash. Smash infiltrators, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> I should just start doing that. Anything that appears in this... This place, I should just start killing. Outright. Only place I have heat with right now is Smash 2, of course. No heat with Saber, no heat with Anvil, no heat with Hammer, and no heat with Patriot. Just Smash. Well. I'm in a shit. <coughs> excuse me, I'm in a shitty situation now because. I really can't do anything. I can't afford to send people out. Because I lost so many people. That's eh, starting to fill up nicely. idiots yeah, 
Yeah, it doesn't say where, it just says dispersed between museums across the world. Which doesn't help me find it, obviously. And it would it would be a, a quest icon, so it would be like that, but it would blink. That's how I know I didn't miss it. Well, how's it looking? Yeah, we're almost done with scientists and technicians again. It's going to be a journey before we have the valets and spin doctors. The guards, there's a lot of them, but I lost over half of them. And mercenaries, I have about half of them right now. Workers, obviously, I bought into, so. But yeah, no. Um, for these, I haven't got them yet, just basically because they're special to specialists that I don't really need except for missions. Really, same with these. Like, I don't need mercenaries except for missions. Spin doctors are nice to have. Same with the playboys and stuff. So I'll probably go out of my way to get those next, but the rest of it, I won't go out of my way unless I absolutely need them. Um, it should be, I don't know the correct order, but sniper and martial artists, um, biochemists, and I can't remember the other one. I want to say neurologist, but I think that's wrong. And then playboy and uh, diplomat. Should be able to find it on the, the world map here. Physicist and biologist, that's what it is. Biochemist, sir. I was going to say that is something I can do, but I should use all the manpower I have here. Rather to uh, keep everything up and running and stuff. It's going to take forever to get rid of those tourists and uh, new ones in. You're dead. You're dead. Too far in the base. That's what happens. My training rooms are working around the clock right now. The game felt the need to tell me I could move on. Thanks, but no thanks, game. And this time, don't come out of the hiding until they're gone or until I tell you to. I still hate that, that I have three guys on the map now. Like I said, I can kill one, but that's not until I move to the next island. There's a certain way you can do it. It's actually story related, I'm pretty sure. I, I can't remember if it's main objective or secondary objective, but it's, it's an objective nonetheless. I really want to put a camera right there so I can see down into it. There she is right there. Not that I really have the social minions to deal with her right now, but I'm going to have to. How's it looking? Better. I'm still only at 59 total minions. Oh boy. Don't think we actually looked at his uh, moves yet. So he has wind walk and eviscerate. Wind rock basically uh, wind, wind rock. Wind walk teleports him, and eviscerate just deals massive damage. To 
Looks to have a fair bit of experience, though. Which is good. I don't know where Lord... There he is. There's Lord Kane. And I seen Moko not too long ago. Just click this, actually. There he is up there. How's your experience coming along? 2.30. He, I think, takes one of the longest to take to level up. <clears throat> yeah, I had a feeling that was to her down there. Finally have a social minion in there now, because I can afford to. Turning his gun. It's the unfortunate thing is I can leave it on alert so that minions will arm themselves, but that alarm I'm pretty sure doesn't go off. There might be a way to turn it off. I can't remember, but... That. Okay, let's get away from there so I don't have to listen to that. Um, let's take a look at our glossary here and see if I can't find it. Of course it's not here. I really do want to leave the base on alert, but I can't afford to. I don't want to listen to that freaking alarm the entire playthrough. I mean, it's better than this. But not by much. How is it going out there in the field? Getting there slowly. It takes a lot to abduct some of these guys. No matter where I go. Send the bare minimal out there. See if I can't get the job done. So you know what? No, I really shouldn't. So I, need, I need all the workers here so that I can train them into other stuff. We're slowly getting there. I have to figure out something for this hallway though because it's absolutely atrocious how that happens. Crappy that I can't just build a camera out right like that. See, if this curved here and this was a like an end of a hallway, I could have it on the wall here. And what that would do is it actually look down the whole hallway. So if it's seen anything, but the only way to divert that would A have to be destroying this, and then B having it come through here. And I don't want it to come through the control room, obviously. quiet for once surprisingly I was thinking about throwing some traps outside but really I 
The problem with doing that is then it will create body bags because that's what these two traps do or they're lethal traps. So the electric shock cannon trap does pretty much what you think it does. It chains lightning to hit them. But like I said, it's a lethal trap. And then this other one, the Satan's chimney, it's better if you set it up with uh, a wind trap. But pretty much it's a trap door which engulfs them in flames. And like I said, it's lethal too. So if they manage to die from that, which they probably would, then I'd have body bags just lying all around here for investigators to see, photograph, and then... Not to mention tourists are going to set off the traps, and that's another thing I'd have to deal with. When they come in and they walk on these things, they're not going to fall into the trap. Like, I'd have to figure something out. I'm gonna take this camera right here. Object will be moved shortly. Put it there. That way at least I have some some line of visibility there. Better than nothing, that's for sure. And a valet deserted me. Well, I think it's shitty where I sit, but I think I can afford to do this now. Just have to go with the bare minimal for now. Pretty sure I could be a troll. Do that. And then just catch them. Kind of in between the two. sure there was nothing going on up there so I didn't really check to be honest at least uh, I can say about our playthrough so far in our run is it's going pretty well in the term of uh that's good that they're using the bed out there beds I should say you gotta be fucking kidding me. So he has two lives left. Okay, I wanted to see you. He has all three of his lives left. He has two lives left. She must have just started attacking. That's why I wanted to keep her locked up here. One less person to deal with. Oh well. Wait till the uh, the guards go away. dealt with and he's being rescued so basically if they're knocked out anywhere they'll just be uh, brought back to the barracks that's why uh, Moko was moved over here 
It's just I didn't see anyone grab him. That's why I was confused. There you go, Jubei. Still waiting on this guy to leave. I have to grab that in the next video. I should still be able to. It's only going to take a minute. Not that I want to, but... Need more workers. Where'd your big go? Because he's not in there anymore. There he is right there. Yeah, no, and that's how you easily lose a uh, henchman is that these super agents will show up out of nowhere and just start fighting. And it's like, what? <laughs> Old Seed Inferno. Three workers, one or three guards, and one mercenary. It's supposed to be an easier mission. Go back to stealing. I'm still going to do some off-screening just to collect more money and uh, top off the uh, the number of troops I have there. Just because it's going to take a while before my guards get back up there. And of course I fucking failed that mission. Fuck off game. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Doc Ingram here with some news from the Antarctic branch of Smash. They finally got their snowmobiles working and were able to quickly respond to the latest evil threat. It's good to see the Smash forces earning their keep and protecting our Antarctic research stations for once. Hopefully, this will give those evil goons something to think about. So if you were curious as to why I always, uh... I always, uh, overschedule for missions, that's why. Because the simplest missions like that can go horribly wrong. Now, had I even just sent three guards, then they probably would have made it through the mission. But because all six of them died, that's why. Usually what I base it off is I try to send two extra people and then three guards. Um, if there's already guards there, then I just send two extra guards too. And I don't worry about sending another three guards on top of that. But that's... The that's why I was even doing it for the Risk Zero missions, but then I was still reading through the glossary the one day when I was letting the game run and I was just kind of sitting here, and it was saying somewhere that, uh, uh, I don't know if I'll find it again. Anyways, it was saying somewhere that the zero threat levels, the zero missions, don't pose a threat. Zero missions, that's horrible grammar. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it again. But yeah, like I said, it's basically saying how... Uh, there's still videos I haven't seen, apparently. Basically saying how um, any mission on the world map that has a zero threat level should be able to be done instantly. So, for example, like that has a two risk. What else? Eight risk. Like, that's, that's going to be extremely hard. Four risk. Four. One. And it's on a scale of zero to nine. As it says here. Well, at least I'm making money back, that's for sure. I'm just going to have to uh, be careful when I start doing some of these missions, because obviously I'm just going to want to do them all more or less. So I'm just going to start knocking them off the, the world map here and... Is that jetpack? I 
I'm gonna start knocking them off the world map here and just continuing on. Still have no idea where that last uh, totem pole is. but And I'm pretty sure I get to bring my cash along with me when I start New Island. So I'll try to make up a whole bunch of cash before I go. I'll have to double check that first, but that way I have an abundance of cash so I don't have to worry about it because another problem that arises when you change islands is you'll find yourself very quickly having no funds to fund it all because you want to build you know everything the way you want it and it just doesn't work out that way anyways I think this has been an okay video so I'm gonna end it here well okay we're just recording session I should say so I'm gonna end it here when we come back we'll continue on I hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like and say comment down below don't forget to subscribe and share it really helps me out thank you guys for watching I'll see you later bye